Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and this is another episode of Toy Talk. Today's episode centers around a DCP special painted grain trailer that was made to commemorate the Wildland Firefighters. The run of trucks was commissioned by Dylan Mercer of Mercer Transport. The run consists of a Mac Pinnacle day cab tractor with aftermarket minimizer parts. It is hooked up to a Wilson Pace Setter 43 foot high sided grain trailer. The trailer has a beautiful mural painted on it of a forest fire and a firefighter. The mural theme is carried forward onto the tractor. I am always amazed at how the factory can blend different colors of paint to make a realistic mural. Murals often require gradients, which are extremely hard to replicate with tempo processes. What do I mean by gradients? Color or black and white gradients are also known as color transitions. They are a gradual blending from one color to another color, or if you're in a colorful mood, from one color to another color to another color. Gradients are not limited to only two shades. The DCP factory is very skillful in the use of color gradients. For example, see my video on Ron Kelsey's Sunrise Express to see the amazing gradient work the DCP was able to do on the replica of his beautiful yellow and orange 359 peat. The use of gradients on Mercer's Wilson Pace Setter grain trailer is fantastic and tells the story of how wildland firefighters risked their lives to bring grass and forest fires under control. And this is the Mercer Transport Mac Pinnacle Day Cab with aftermarket parts, really cool, from factory with aftermarket parts on a Mac. That's totally new. Pulling the Wilson Pace Setter 43-foot high-sided grain trailer. It is the DCP by First Gear packaging in design, but it is the special packaging that has different uh, markings on it because they ordered a run big enough to get actual different packaging. On one end, it's got a little information about the Eric Marsh Foundation for Wildland Firefighters. On the other end, it has all the sponsors, Minimizer, Sherco, Four State Trucks, Chrome Shop Mafia, Wilson Trailer, and Lehman Paintworks. On the back, it has the Firefighters uh, Prayer right there, an, a tribute to Our Fallen Heroes. That's the name of the truck, plus the firefighter symbol. Underneath, it is DCP item number 60-1114, Mac licensed product with Mac licensing. Really, really nice packaging that they put on this truck. Now let's open it up. The truck is in the two-piece blister, but note, they changed the interior back piece so that you have a nice mural of a wildland fire. Really, really Nice packaging on this one. Oh, one other little note. The grain trailers on these old Wilson trailers, the crank for the tarp is in a package and there's also extra set of mirrors. They never actually put the crank on and I'm not gonna put it on because it's just too much little detail and they gotta take it all off. But it's in that packaging. Of course, like all the other blisters, they did the Two pieces of tape on each side so that it holds together really nice. This is a really, really nice package. A really, really nice looking truck. And yes, they did some new tooling on the cab so that it has what is unusual. The original Pinnacle did not have a steerable front end. This one does. They retooled up the front end so that it has, well, not truly... Uh, steerable, it's the positionable, which they're more known for. So they changed the frame for it, and you can see that. It has a nice steer tire pattern and a nice drive tire pattern. 
that was something that first gear did that dcp actually didn't do and it would have been nice if they had done it because trucks steer tires and drive tires are not the same and the tread on trailer tires is not the same underneath you can also see drive shafts are right there from the transmission to the axle and then to the second axle rear differentials air brake canisters and front rear spring suspension not the absolute best of detail on this chassis because this was a first gear tooling that they've updated but still it's a really nice undercarriage and the rest of the truck is pretty nice you can see the fuel tanks uh, air tanks and then you got some toolboxes there Coming up, you can see another new feature that they came out with, these double hump fenders. Mac, you see these a lot on the, particularly the older Macs. I'm not sure if you see them too much on the newer ones, but on the older ones, the double hump fender was really common. It's one big piece and is mounted onto the chassis at points at each end, and the brake lights and the mud flaps are molded into it. They've got the Mac logo right there on the uh, mud flap you got extra brake lights right there another mac on the back it has our fallen heroes on the back of the cab bogo stick with airlines on it and i actually like these lines a little better than the dcp they look nicer it's got twin straight stacks with the 45 miters they tampoed a little bit of black paint on the inside plus there's a little dimple so they look kind of hollow really nice feature diamond plate deck plates there fifth wheel that's good for dcp and first gear trailers it also pivots a little bit got mercer transport on the fuel tank chrome steps on the fuel tank chrome bands black covers on each end and the tanks are painted red boxes here are painted in red with little black handles Chrome wheels, front and rear, with black center caps on them. A really, really nice tap detail. It has the grab bar there in chrome. Mirrors are chrome. Front bumper is chrome. Air horns are chrome. And the visor is chrome. Also, the little bitty bulldog on the hood is chrome on this one. On the front, it has the Mac Pinnacle grill, and it says Mac in the grill. It has some little black tampos on the chrome bumper. Individual jewel style headlights with some little orange for the turn signals. Really sharp details. This also has, Mac is pretty famous still for using the rectangle style air horns. Pretty much that was kind of cool back in the 80s, but they, everybody else kind of went back to round ones, but Mac didn't. That's nice. It has the windshield wipers molded into the hard plastic window with a gasket tampoed all around plus the wipers are tampoed side window is the same does not have an opening hood but look at the graphics on the side of this truck the fire graphics while they're not quite as great as the real truck i mean that is hard to do in 64 so i am very impressed that they're able to come up that close to the real one it's got all our fallen heroes painted on the door Passenger side is very similar, but it does have that little window there. Pretty much everything else is the same on this guy. Now let's look at the trailer. Isn't that sharp? Look at that paint job on the side. Now this tarp does, there's two little points that hold the tarp in. So you can roll the tarp up and it will actually roll up. Plus, there's the little hooks on the other side that would hold it, but I never bothered to put them in. It's just too much work. But look at that mural painted on the side. This firefighter kneeling in prayer. Our Fallen Heroes written there. It's got the Wilson Pace Setter logo up at the front. And it has the firefighter symbol on the back. It also has the firefighter's prayer. Now, this was the panel that you saw at the back of the package. Tampo here here and here for warning and instructions these bottom hoppers do open you can see through it's hollow see my hand there both of them will open and they will close same thing see it has underneath the uh 
tandem rear axle with the air brake canisters on each axle. Working landing gear here. It is the screw down type that DCP is so famous for, which is a great, great compromise to real ones. It has the uh, kingpin here and the fifth wheel plate pushed down right on. You can see the hoppers as well. Up top, look at all the rivet detail on the inside of the hoppers. Really, really sharp that they can do that fine a detail. Of course, these here are, the interior pieces are plastic, but the rest of the, the outer walls are die cast. It's also got the roof bows here, and those are actually little metal pieces. Really nice. On the back, it's just painted in white but it does have the Mercer Transport logo and Wilson Trailer mud flaps. Then you've also got your uh, ladder here so you can climb up and look in, a little catwalk, and then your warning and instructions right there, plus the Wilson Trailer Tampo. That little hole right there at the pointer is where you put the crank in, and it goes up, but it doesn't actually connect. It just kind of looks cool. It's also two little grab bars up there. On the front of this trailer, it says Our Fallen Heroes and Sherco, and that's for the tarp. Plus, there's a Wilson Tampo there. Another ladder and catwalk with little grab bars. And look at all the teeny tiny little tampos there so that you can uh, make sure that you're getting all of the instructions and warnings on this trailer. And like I said, the tarp, you see the hook, it can get itself hooked in those little hooks are on each side which will hold the tarp in rolled open but generally I don't do that I generally just keep them closed and oftentimes I don't even bother try and hook them into those pegs because they want to flop out but it looks nice passenger side here you can see the loops that hook and hold the tarp and then the same beautiful mural this is not necessarily the best mural I've seen DCP or First Gear do. I think that was on the Cisco Pups, which I got a video of. Go see it with the link below. But this is also a much harder trailer to put a mural on because of all the rib and rivet detail on the side. Those Pups were pretty smooth, so getting the mural is much easier on them versus this. So I'm still very impressed with their paint process where they can get that mural that nice on such a non-smooth surface. It's hard to print on smooth surfaces, especially that small, but they, they've come up with a way to do it, and I'm very impressed. And there it is all hooked up. The Mac Pinnacle Day Cab with Minimizer Aftermarket Parts pulling a 43-foot Wilson High Sides Pace Setter Grain Trailer for Mercer transport from illinois the truck's name is our fallen heroes and it's a tribute to the wildland forest fire fighters that have lost their lives in the line of duty a great looking truck and you can buy one while supplies last with the link down below once the link is gone there will be no more of these available this was kind of a one and done run and you want to get one right now let me know what you guys think of this truck and about the process that they have for painting it. Do you think these murals are cool or not? Drop them down in the comments. The DCP Mack Truck and Wilson Grain Trailer was dedicated to firefighters, wherever they may be, and to the hotshot crews that leap out of a perfectly good airplane and parachute into a burning, blazing forest fire. A huge thanks to all of these firefighters who risk their lives to protect ours. Thanks for watching. Please go on and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm Logan, and I'll see you soon.